Just how fast can the human body recover from years of alcohol drinking? And will it be able to make a complete recovery in the first place? Or are you never going to go back to the way that you were? Well, we've dived into the scientific research and have the answer to all of these questions and much more coming right up. And ladies and gents, just before we get into the video, if you want my personal help stopping drinking and you want to join the Sober Clear program where we use first principles thinking and really use coaching to focus on the future, make sure to click the link in the description. There'll be a short video to watch that explains the method and the program and how I work with people. Then you can actually book a call and we can see if this program may be a good idea for you. So if you want more details on the Sober Clear program, click the link in the description and let's get back to the video. So the first step on your body's path to recovery is getting rid of the alcohol from the last drink. So regardless if you drink one glass or two bottles, your system will metabolize or break down alcohol at the same flat rate. Now it also doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, tall or short, big or small. You will break down and expel alcohol from your system at the rate of about one drink per hour. For example, if you've had eight drinks, almost all of the alcohol in your system will be gone after eight hours. You'll only be left with the hangover afterwards. So in other words, getting rid of the alcohol from your system is actually quick. Soon after that, you're gonna start getting the first signs of cravings. Depending on how much you drink, the cravings will start 24 to 48 hours after your last drink. These cravings can be accompanied by subtle changes to your heart rate and your blood pressure. In these first days, you'll also likely suffer from sleep problems, irritability and anxiety, and your appetite may also suffer. Your cravings will mostly go away at the one week mark. After that point, they will be far less frequent and less intense. Now, I cannot stress enough that the timelines that I'm giving you here will differ from person to person, especially when it comes to the cravings, because these are largely psychological. So their intensity will depend on the method that you actually use to stop drinking. If you quit, say, cold turkey with willpower, the cravings might end up being more intense and they can last for weeks or months. Now, I have already made an in-depth video talking about defeating alcohol cravings. So if you want to learn more about that, I'm going to leave a link up here somewhere so you can click on that and then watch that video after you've watched this one. Now, two weeks after your last drink, your liver is already starting to recover. The liver is the organ that suffers the most from heavy alcohol use, but its ability to recover and regenerate itself is nothing short of astonishing. At only two weeks after your last drink, fatty liver, which affects 90% of heavy drinkers, will have reversed. This is assuming that you only have fatty liver and have not progressed onto the more serious types of liver damage, like alcoholic hepatitis. But if you only have fatty liver and you looked at a biopsy of your liver under the microscope, it would already appear normal after just two weeks. At the three week mark, your gut has also made a massive recovery. The damage that heavy drinking inflicted on your gut barrier system, which allowed pathogens to leak from the gut into the general circulation, has now been completely restored. The bacterial flora in your gut has also recovered to a large extent, though not yet completely. You will also be pleasantly surprised to notice that your working memory has also made a complete recovery. Now going on to more medium turn effects. About a month after your last drink, your blood pressure will have fallen dramatically or even normalized completely. You were also likely to have shed a considerable number of pounds due to consuming fewer calories. Liver function markers in the blood like ALT, AST and GGT have now returned to normal levels. About that time, you might also notice a noticeable improvement in your skin and its complexion. Adding to this, your sleep is probably also back to normal. You're actually sleeping better than you were before you stopped because you don't have to wake up in the middle of the night anymore for trips to the toilet. Another thing you might notice at this point is a significant improvement to your mental clarity and your ability to concentrate. At the three month mark, your body has not only cleared itself of the toxins, but largely adjusted to functioning without alcohol. At this point, you were already seeing massive benefits in areas of your life that were previously under great strain. Personal relationships, family life, work performance, all of this should be much better at this point. And this feeds into a tremendously positive feeling and outlook about your recovery. On top of this, your social skills will have largely recovered by this point. You might not have realized it, but the years of drinking have actually impaired faculties like the recognition of emotions in others and social cognition in general. After this point, most of the changes that you will see will actually be a result of the brain's gradual recovery. While the liver is the organ that suffers the heaviest damage from drinking, we saw it recovers relatively fast at least for most cases. But the brain is far slower to heal. We're talking years, 
or even decades in some cases. At six months, your brain has already regained most of the volume that it's lost. Now, I know this may come as a shock to many of you guys out there, but alcohol actually chips away at the volume of your brain matter. At the one year mark, your verbal skills will have rebounded dramatically, probably already back to their pre-drinking levels. At this point, actually, the large majority of your cognitive skills have recovered, though there are some exceptions. Certain cognitive faculties, like long-term memory, will need years to recover. Another cognitive faculty that will require years of recovery relates to visual spatial skills. In other words, the ability to process visual stimuli in such a way as to understand the relationships between objects in three-dimensional space. Now, I don't want to scare you, even if your brain doesn't make a 100% recovery, these cognitive deficits are very subtle. Scientists have to use very sophisticated tests and techniques to even detect them. On your own, you wouldn't be able to notice them in your day-to-day -day life. And remember, these long-term changes will apply mostly to very heavy drinkers, people that have been abusing alcohol heavily for many years you still might get away without any permanent cognitive deficits. Now, if there's one thing that I want you to take away from this video, it's that your body is the most remarkable machine in the known universe. We can subject our bodies to decades of abuse with a toxic poison like ethanol and only have it if after a few weeks it will basically largely have recovered. Again, this depends on how much that you've drank and to the extent of the damage. Some organs might never fully recover, most notably the liver, and in some aspects, the brain. But fortunately, this will only be the case for a minority of even very heavy drinkers. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.